Hey guys, welcome back to Ian Blue Music. Today we're doing a how-to video for the plugin Auto-Tune Access by Interes. Let's get into it. Okay, so I've got an old demo project pulled up here with some demo vocals and the Auto-Tune Access plugin. I picked this up for a Black Friday sale. I usually use Waves Tune real time, which I love, and I uh, just wanted to try something new and it was pretty affordable, so I decided to give it a shot. Auto-Tune Access is the lowest tier in the whole Auto-Tune family. So if you're looking to get uh, Auto-Tune by Interis, this is gonna be the most affordable option at $99. And not a bad price point, uh, but it is pretty stripped down compared to some of the higher levels of auto-tune. So I'll go ahead and play the track real quick with these vocals on it and just give you an idea on how it sounds with the settings turned to the max. Let's get it. When the week go, baby, it's the weekend. You should know where we go every other weekend. She said she a freak dog. I don't know what she meant. She a copy king go. Imitation week shit. Try to tell her we go harder than the semen. You don't gotta creep, no. Instagram and me again. I don't so I'm not super proud of these vocals, but it does a trick at showing you what this plugin does and how it sounds. Um, so we'll go through this plugin and I'll give you some examples of the different settings. Up at the top, you've got the key and scale. You can select any key and you only have the minor and major scale, but you can select down here which notes you allow it to tune to and kind of make your own scale if the minor or major doesn't work for you. Uh, minor or major scale, it's gonna be good for 97% of the people out there. And if it's not, then you can go ahead and customize your scale. We've got this dial on the side here, retune speed, which is going to be ultimately how much auto-tune is on this vocal. When I saw this online and saw that it had two dials, I thought that would be enough. But unfortunately for this level, they only allow you to select literally at these three points, slow speed, which almost feels like it's doing nothing, medium, which feels a little too slow still, and then fast, which is pretty much auto-tuned as it can get. So I'll actually go ahead and play. Um, you already heard it with fast. I'll go ahead and play it on medium. When the week go, baby, it's the weekend. You should know where we go every other weekend. She said she a freak, dog. I don't know what she meant. She a cop. And it kind of works. It's not really what you'd want for this track, but it's not bad it's but it is a little on the slower side for me i usually like things pretty tight and then going to slow when the week go baby it's the weekend you should know where we go every other weekend she said she a freak dog i don't know what she that would be a good setting if you're a really good singer and just want to tighten things up a little bit and i'll go ahead and give you an idea of what this sounds like without any tuning when the week go baby it's the weekend you should know where we go every other weekend she said she a freak dog i don't know what she meant she um, doesn't sound great, but uh, compared to slow, it really doesn't even sound any different. So it doesn't really seem like slow does too much. So I keep it up there on fast. And if you're looking for that hard auto tune effect, this will deliver it. Humanize is a selection. I don't really use it. What it does is if a note's really long and it starts to sound um, really sterile and just on one pitch, it will go ahead and loosen up that auto-tune just a little bit to give it some variation so it doesn't sound super auto-tuned. Um, this is really only good if you've got longer notes. It's good if you're maybe a conventional singer, but for this sort of stuff, for rap, for uh, pop where the notes are changing pretty quick, then it's not really going to do too much and um, I can't notice a difference when I'm using it, so I, I tend to keep it off. Uh, but that's it. There's one more setting in here, choosy tracking, which is back in the settings. Uh, it's good to turn that off if the audio is pretty messy or there's some background noise or things like that. But usually leave it on. And that is literally all there is to it. So as far as I'm concerned, I think it's a good plugin. It's a little steep at $99 considering how stripped down it is, but compared to the fact that the, the full version or even like Auto-Tune Artist, which is a mid-tier version, is 300. So, I mean, it's a great way to get into the game if you're just starting out. And it does give you a pretty good tone if you're doing things like reggaeton or trap music or rap, or you just like that hard tune sound for whatever style you're doing. And I think the other opposite end of the spectrum, if you're a really good singer and just want a little bit of tightening up, then this would probably work for you because, you know, you don't need a whole lot. And if it's on slow and you get that humanize up a little bit, then it's not really going to do a lot of work. It's going to be pretty transparent and it'll probably work. 
If you're somewhere in the middle where you're a decent singer and need a little bit more help and a little bit more flexibility in exactly what those settings are, this is probably not going to do it for you. Um, I'd look at getting either uh, Waves Tune real time if you want to keep it on the affordable, or if you're looking to get it sounding really crisp, Auto Tune Artist sounds great, and there's a lot of settings that you can adjust to perfect it. This, you've got you know three stops on the retune speed, which doesn't give you a lot of flexibility. Three stops on the humanized speed, really two stops because one of them is just off. So I do recommend it if it's something that you're just looking to get that auto-tune sound for hip-hop or something like that. Other than that, you might want to look elsewhere. Thanks so much for watching. It's hard to even ask if I missed anything because there's nothing really to this plugin. But if you have any questions, let me know and I'll get back to you in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time.